You're, you're, you're listening to the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. You, you, you know what you are? You're a popcorn salesman. Worldwide Sports Radio presents the, 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 the home stretch. All right, let's hit the field with, with, with Tyler and friends. Hello, welcome to the home stretch. I'm not, I'm not doing it. All right, I'm not doing the long screaming thing. Uh, welcome to the home stretch. I am your host, Tyler Harrison, along with uh, my co-host slash producer Speedy PD, and my family's actually here. They just don't want to be seen or heard, so <laughs> that's fun. But anyway, oh, man, here he comes. Are you coming? Yes. All right. Say hello. Hello. There you go, and there you go. Oh, all right. So he does want to stay. So look at that. No, no, I wouldn't put those on. I get very loud. It's going to hurt your head. I wouldn't put them on. Oh, all right. Don't listen. It's your headache, not mine. Anyway, so um, today's been a tremendous day in sports. I'm just kidding. It's been quiet as expected. The Super Bowl's over. There's nothing really to talk about at all. So um, I'll digest later why I'm doing it this way, but. Uh, we're going to break down NFL free agency, and we have a list here of 100 guys. Most of them are going to be unrestricted free agents. There's a couple of near the top that are just going to be easy gimmies. But um, we're going to break it down that way. But um, being that I am I believe the only show that went on today, I'll tell you what you're doing today in sports because, quite frankly, what else is there to talk about? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. There's literally nothing to talk about. The biggest news around here right now is Chris Kreider gaining an extension. That's it. That's the biggest news. That's true. No, thank you. <laughs> Who's Chris Kreider? Me. No, don't, don't, don't say that. Because then people are going to think Chris Kreider is actually here and we're out of our minds. Um, so what we'll do is there's one college basketball game on. So we'll start with that. It's actually a pretty good one. But first... You're all avid golfers, right? Why the hell wouldn't you be? It's a, such a terrible game to play. It's brilliant. Again, oh, thank you. The, you're absolutely correct. AT&T, Pebble Beach, Pro-Am, Pebble Beach, California. Uh, your leader is Nick Taylor at minus 14. Uh, he shot minus 6 today. Um, your second place leader would be Jason Day at minus 12. He shot minus 8 on the day. Phil Mickelson's back hey. at minus 11. Yeah, right. Good old lefty. Mr. Fourth Place. Yeah, well, he's in third now, so you, so yeah, you, well, so he's, bite, you bite do, your tongue. He'll do just enough to finish fourth. Yeah, well, he's third now, so bite your tongue. Uh, minus 11, he shot minus 7 on the day. Uh, tied for fourth is Chris Baker at minus 10. He shot minus 8 on the day, and I know this is going to go into the left, so I'll just admit it now. I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name. I'll just try my very best. Right? Is, is this the same Chris Baker that played for the Jets? <laughs> uh, no, probably not. Uh, if you wear that green jersey, it's just not good for you afterwards. Um, I'm going to go with Charles Schwartzel at minus 10. May the Schwartz be with you. Uh, and also with you. I got that joke. It's funny. Oh, thank you. What was the joke? Well, he likes the joke. He doesn't know what it is. But good. Uh, he also is at minus 10. He shot minus 6 on the day. And as promised, uh, Maryland, Illinois, Big Ten means absolutely nothing to me. Neither of these teams will be a serious threat going forward. Well, no, Maryland, yeah, Maryland's good. not normally a good tournament team. We'll see what Illinois is. They're new. Uh, new nah. It's not necessarily bad. Nah, yeah, no, but it is when you're not known for they basketball. Got, they got balance, though, so that's, yeah, that, that's, that's a good that's great. thing for them. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. There's I, actually, bet, I bet you they get knocked out in the first round. I mean, was, we'll see who they play. Uh, they're going to be most likely a 5 or 6 seed the way it is right now. <laughs> no way. You're nuts. They'll lose yeah. early in the tournament. Oh. They're ranked right now. Yeah, but they'll lose early in the tournament. Oh, they could. I'm not saying they No, could. I mean, not even that. The Big Ten tournament, they'll lose early in, and then they'll probably lose in the first round in the March Madness tournament. Well, no, I know that. I'm just saying there's... They're still a balanced team, though. And just because they're away. just because they're inexperienced doesn't mean that's necessarily. I want somebody thing. to keep track of how often Aub- I actually. Auburn count. went to the final Ball. four last year with very little experience too. So yeah, that's they're, they're a football school, but no, I know. I, I five seed similarly. I do not trust Illinois at all. No, maybe, maybe you don't. I'm just saying inexperience is not a bad no, thing. No, it's Illinois. Illinois is a state. Yes. No, that, that's beautiful. I will say this, though, too. It's a boring place. 
What? No one hears what you're saying right now. You're too far away. It is in. There you go. That's the first words anyone's heard you say all day. I will say this, though, before we move on to a different sport, there was an unranked crazy finish with the Ivy League as well, Harvard and Yale. So Harvard was up by four, and they fouled a three-point shooter. No. Was so it could have been... Three point it, yeah, it was, I think, Harvard's or Yale's second-best player. So they fouled him. He makes the shot. So it could have been a four-point play, but he missed the free throw. So Harvard hung off. Can I get the score out? 78-77. <laughs> no, no, not. No, what no. score? No. Oh, no. you were getting the... Yeah, the Illinois-Maryland oh, score. I think you were talking The about actual that. game that's being played right oh, okay. now. What score? The, thank you. What score? Thank you very there well. You go. Illinois is up 22-12. to 12. Game just started. There's 13 minutes left in the half. Right. So, we'll go from... Co- oh, jeez. So, we'll go from college to the professional game. Um, oh, there's a lot of games actually being played right now. What professional game? Basketball. Game where you dribble and shoot. Yeah, that one. Uh, at 10.30, the Portland Trailblazers take on the Utah Jazz. Damian Lillard, to me, is MVP. Sorry, Luka Doncic. Yes, MVP. This is going to be all day, ladies and gentlemen, but it's fun. Deal with it. Um, at 10 o'clock, the Miami Heat take on the Sacramento Kings. And I believe the first game Andre Iguodala will play in about eight months. So that's going to be exciting. And then the new mini Rockets, I'll call them. Take on the Phoenix Suns. Um, They should win this game by 30. This game should be a blowout. But there are games currently going on. At halftime, the 76ers are up 58-44 over the Grizzlies. And how would all that talking for you go, Dylan Brooks? Maybe you should respect the champion. They won the first game they played. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Speaking of champions, I think Luka Doncic is going to be pretty good. Yeah, he is a champion. No, that's good. That's good. Where do you win? All right. Yep. Your, your son has no. made the pick. Dallas Mavericks are winning it all. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> That's not good news to the Dallas Mavericks. He doesn't know where Dallas even is. Bad news. No, see? Look at that. 68-67 Mavericks over the Washington Wizards in the third quarter. There's about 10 minutes left in that one. Uh, the Boston Celtics are up 43-35 over the Hawks. Who's the boss? What? Boss. No one said boss. I said Hawks. Who did? Who's that? The team. What team? 43-35 Hawks, and the Toronto Raptors are up 14-11 over the Pacers. That game just started as well. And uh, the Detroit Pistons were the, one of the dumbest teams in basketball. <laughs> awesome. One of? <laughs> uh, I would say, well, probably Knicks are the dumbest, and then right. who do we got after that? <laughs> right. Uh, it's 14-14 between them and the Thunder, and again, Chris Paul cannot be announced enough what he did for that team. This is playing phenomenal right now. And of course... There's everybody's favorite sport, hockey. As hockey will always close this show unless no baseball. baseball. No, base, no, there is no baseball. You've got to wait like 30 more days. That's great. Yeah, I'm not here the Houston Astros. Anyway, <laughs> the Toronto uh, Maple Leafs are up 2-1 to one right now over the Ducks. Um, They're winning. Andre Johnson. Yeah, Andre Johnson and that John Tavares guy again scored, who I'm so glad... He got beat up in the garden. Awesome. Uh, and Nicholas DeLowers? DeLaurier. DeLaurier. Thank you, Speedy. Two to one, Maple Leafs. Speaking of those pesky Rangers, they're losing right now uh, to the B- Buffalo Sabres. And honestly, the guy I once scored the goal. Zemingus Gergeson. That guy's a defenseman, defenseman. Forget the goal. That goal's a fluke. But. You. What does that mean? Don't know, but no. you're weird. No, well, that's just funny. Good. No, that's good. The Columbus Blue Jackets are up one nothing over those Detroit Red Wings, and the guy I'd want most, Zach Wierniczki, he uh, scored the goal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is around the world in sports. Brought to you by absolutely nobody, because I did myself. And um, oh, we have a Snugs alert. Snugs alert. Yep. Here we go. Big night tonight on the mats. Number two, Penn State versus number five, Wisconsin, in a dual meet for Big Ten supremacy. Yep, I just shout out to college wrestling. Hashtag ban the beat. <laughs> yes, I, I absolutely. And me and Bo Jangles approved that message, by the way. College wrestling's fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, Songs, if you want to call and analyze college wrestling, go for it. I don't, right. know, I don't know anything about it. All I know is the Big Ten is good at it. <laughs> yeah, and most of them are from the Northeast. Right. 
or by the Ten Finger Lakes or the South. So that's about it. Anyway, um, there's really nothing to talk about unless you want to talk about the Rangers, but no one here talks about hockey because none of you watch it. But that's fine. One eight four five four seven eight three two seven two is the number to call, and you haven't watched a minute of hockey in your entire life. I love hockey. You don't know what hockey is even played on. Ice. Oh. Oh, right. look at okay. that. All right. Good job. Okay. He's he does take after me, so eventually he'll be able to slaughter half of you too. So anyway, I wonder if he could beat Mike Weedo in a debate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you wouldn't have tested that already. <laughs> Here, LeBron or Kobe? LeBron or Kobe? Answer the question. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, Mr. Marks, I think I broke your little thing. Yes, I did, but it's all right. We're moving anyway, so I helped you out. So don't, don't, no, just Ow. talk into that part. Don't touch it. So anyway, um, he said ice, which probably is what LeBron's taking right now. So I'll take that as no don't give him the answer it's not genuine i want him to genuinely answer the question okay no kobe or lebron james genuine what? <laughs> <laughs> who's genuine <laughs> you <laughs> hey that ladies and gentlemen it's around the world in sports brought to you by absolutely nobody all right so, which is me. so basically yeah. all right a- anyone who has a LeBron, Kobe is not on the agenda. I can't talk about that Any, anymore. Anybody that has okay. a, a young kid and wants him to play basketball, name them Jenna Lynn. Maybe Jenna Lynn will be the greatest of all time at some point. Mm. Well, so you have Jordan's DNA. Jordan's D-A-A. <laughs> D-N-A. D-N-A or D-E-N? No, that spells nothing. D-N-A? D-N-A. You're in school. You don't know what DNA is? All right. Clapping. Well, no, no, we know we we heard you clap. <laughs> oh, your mother must be so happy you're a star. Anyway, so what's gonna happen here is since I got like eight frogs in my throat, uh, That's I'm gonna. That's not true. Uh, uh, the How many doesn't... frogs do you think he has in his throat? A billion. <coughs> oh. I mean, infinite. Yeah, infinite. And infinite. They're just growing so much. Yeah, there's... they can't go away. They just keep going and going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's two nothing Sabres. That's Sam Reinhardt scored. That's true. How do you know? Because I know. You don't. I mean, you just told him. Uh, well, <laughs> no, I know, but. <laughs> Snooby. Oh, he's going to. Uh, let's keep a finger count on how many times he says that one. I'm guessing anywhere between 15 and 20 times. And it's only 8.30. So, and he could very well exceed that, so. Well, Why say Snoopy? Because you're Snoopy from Peanuts. That's three times already. Snoopy, you say it all day. Well, well, I guess he must have just watched Peanuts then for the first time. <laughs> I watched Peanuts. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we're out of business. Goodbye. Bye. Um, in all seriousness, so what Speedy's going to do is I have a list here of 100 free agents. Hopefully he'll mix them up as much as possible. To where I will um, tell you where they're going. They can hear you. How can they, they hear me when I'm whispering in, in mommy's ear? You're not, not, you're not really whispering. Because we have these things called microphones that pick up that audio. Oh, great. I forgot. You, I could turn your mic off if you want to whisper something. I think you should just mute his mic permanently. <laughs> For the next, like, five to ten minutes. Boo. Boo. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Who wants to miss out on this comic gold this kid's going to spew, right? That's really true. We should we should have him see if he can guess a free agent spot. <laughs> Maybe one of his 100 will be right. Well, he's probably going to be ha- more right than half the network if he gets that one right. <laughs> Listen, after I called everybody out last night, I really don't think I can come on here and not say anything to get in trouble now, right? I called out everybody. No one said a word, so it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, the number to call is one eight four five four seven eight three two seven two. 478 And um, so, yeah, Speed's going to go down this list. There's 100 names. 
Um, a lot of them are probably going to be boring because a lot of them will be the teams that they are already leaving or, you know, we've already seen Eric Weddle retire and we've seen Vernon Davis retire already. So don't be surprised if some Vernon, of them Vernon retire. Davis didn't go out in dramatic fashion like his brother, though. <laughs> Which one's his brother? Vontae Davis. <coughs> Vontae Davis. I liked Vontae Davis. He retired in the locker room at halftime. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> That's that would right. have been such dramatic fashion to do it in. He I thought should've... it was Bob Sanders that did it, though, right? Did he? I thought it was Sanders. No, you're right. No, it was probably I don't Bob remember Sanders. Bob Sanders doing it. It's Vontae Davis, I thought, was a top I love player. Bob Sanders, whoever he is. He was a t- tremendous safety that would have been a Hall of Famer if he didn't have injury issues. Yeah, him and Or Eric Nintendo. Are... Oh, dear. If he has not one. No, well, well, maybe he's played Nintendo. We don't know. That's a question for you to ask. Yes. If you ever meet Bob Sanders. Right. So, again, 100, 100 – I'm flustered here, so we're, I'm just going to try to figure this out as I go along. Speed's going to rattle off random names. I'm going to give you random spots to go. Again, this is going to be pretty boring because, again, nobody knows, A. And, B, I'm going to put a lot of these teams back with the free agents they lost unless it's clear cut they're not going back. Well, you should do it where if, if you leave, where it's another good spot that you go to is probably another good way to do it. And that's why he's my producer. Good job, Bojangles. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can you please, can you please, um, mute oh, my, can you please oh, turn on. off my, um, turn off my microphone, please? I will turn off your oh. microphone. Hold That's on, well, you. hold on. There's a Snugs alert. Snugs and alert. All right, hold my on. My girlfriend doesn't know who Snugs is, so let's. Is his mic off now? Yes. No. <laughs> anyway, thank you for bringing your son on the show this evening. He is cuter and more knowledgeable about sports than Baby Yoda and Junior B combined. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Throwing shade, hashtag Tyler's kid is cool. Well, look at that. You can say whatever you want, but he's already a smash compared to everybody else. <laughs> so, there you go. All but, right. Anyway, go ahead. So, Steve. completely random of the free agents. Let's start with, let's see, we'll, we'll do one in the middle first. The middle? On the middle of the list. Oh, All right, we'll start with one of the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs, the one who got the last interception. Kendall Fuller. <laughs> I mean, I hate to start off as boring as this could be. I'm going to say he does go back to Kansas City. Um, if you have a one in Brashard, Maryland, and your number three is a... I mean, you could easily draft one. But the you're, shot Fenton's a number three. Right, but that means he's a what? He'd be a two? He's, he's a, I don't know he's about a two. That. He's a two in terms of a town perspective. He's probably a one on that team. Even Over Breland, I, you're nuts. You're absolutely nuts. I know, again, they're interchangeable, whatever you want to call it. He's going to shadow top receivers in some instances, though. It depends on the matchup. If, if uh, they want to play Breland as a physical corner on the number one receiver, that's a game plan thing. And they, they did it with Fuller, too. They, if they want Fuller to run with the number one receiver, that's what they did. They're kind of the same level. Breland played better this year. but I actually got a spot he could go. And I really don't like where this is headed when they're the first team that I have to help. I think Dallas ain't keeping Byron Jones. I think Kendall Fuller could be cheaper and actually fit in better. How about a team like Tampa? They got the money. I think they need the secondary help. Well, they help. traded Vernon Hargrave, so yeah, Lord knows they with all, With it. all the young corners they have, they could use a veteran to help him out, too. And he's kind of similar to what they have, too. So right. I actually was going to give them somebody else. He'll help mentor somebody like Jamel Dean, who played well last year, and and um, Carlton Davis is kind of different. He's more of a physical corner, but again, right. I was going to give them somebody else. Okay, I, I think he's somebody that definitely could fit. And again, he's more of a man coverage corner with his speed. He's similar to what a lot of the Arizona number two corners were, where Todd Bowles was in Arizona. So I think he could fit well there. Very possible. All right, let's go to. Number 52. Let's go to Trey Boston. Out of the league. Out of the league, really? Um, <coughs> I don't know. Carolina's... Trey Boston. I'm trying to think of where... Please don't touch that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know where Trey Boston would go. Um, a reunion with Arizona could be interesting. Do they need him though? Because there's Buddha and then there's who else? 
the, the young kid they had. Uh, not not Deontay Thompson, another Thompson. He, he was the guy who played well for them. You know what? I'll give him to Seattle. I think Seattle could use him because I think Diggs is a free agent too, isn't he? I believe so. And Diggs is also, for most of his career, is more of a corner. So he only emerged as safety in this year. It might be somebody where they can move him around too. Well, and that's another instance where that, that can happen. All right, so you said, what, Arizona or Seattle? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Because Trey Boston's kind of an in-between type safety. He can tackle and he can cover. More of a zone coverage. Well, here's something. Again, former Panther. How about reuniting with his coach, Redskins? I could see that working next to Landon Collins. He could be more of that zone coverage type. I could see that working. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to let's go to an offensive player. We'll go to an offensive lineman, Anthony Costanzo. To be quite honest with you, he could be the next guy that retires because I know that's what he's contemplating. He was contemplating retirement, but if he re- if he comes back, he's going to the Colts. I don't even see how they can afford to lose. All right, if he doesn't go back to the Colts, I'm thinking the Rams. Uh, how about the Cle- Rams? To me, have to be the guy. To uh, Cleveland. I'm thinking Cleveland for that. I think he'll be more affordable than Conklin because they're already kind of cash-strapped as it is. I think it'll be hard for them to get Conklin. So I think that'll be the fallback option for them. Could be. All right, let's go to an offensive skill player. Let's go to (coughs) Kenyon Drake. I think he stays in Arizona. I think that's why they made a trade for him, and Cliff Kingsbury really made him look better than he's been in the entire league. Yeah, I agree. Plus, again, I think with all the rumors that the Cardinals are most likely to cut David Johnson, there's a reason for that. Cut him? They're not going to trade him? Or trade? They're going to try no. to trade him, but that's if not, right. they're going to cut him. I see a reunited. I see Tampa. Tampa, yeah. yeah we, I've all said right. that for a while, so. So, yeah, I, I agree. I think Henry J is going to Arizona if... Arizona doesn't resign it for whatever reason. Where do you think he can go? Yeah, I agree. But <laughs> I asked if he doesn't resign with oh, Arizona, where no, do you think he can go? Yeah, I, my bad. I didn't even hear you say that just now. Um, <sighs> who could use a running back? The Chargers, if they can't get Melvin Gordon back, that could be a perfect fit. Does it depend on what the quarterback is? What about what about joining the champs, <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs? <laughs> if that happens, that's going to be awful. Because he's a good pass catching back too. That would no, really he's a help. Very good pass catching back. That would really help Mahomes if he's extending plays. And again, it, it can help give them different looks too, so they don't have to play spread formations all the time. All right, let's go to another defensive player. Let's go to Leonard Williams. Giants. The Giants traded too much to let him walk away. Um, if he doesn't stay with the Giants, I mean, I'm trying to think of where the hell he could go. Um, here's the problem. He's kind of either a four. He's an end regardless. He can't he's play inside. He's first though. He could be a 4-3 DJ. Uh, no, well, all right. You know what? Atlanta. I could give him to Atlanta if he leaves. I could see that working, yeah, because they could use a power rusher. They don't really have a power. Sure. And they're letting Vic Beasley go. Which I think is makes sense. He's been down kind of the last two years after he had that big year when they went to the Super Bowl. He's been really down. <laughs> so that kind of makes sense. Another one I could see, too, just because, again, he is versatile. Uh, 4-3 defensive tackle. I could see Cleveland as well because they could use help with run defense. Yeah, but how much money does Cleveland have? Well, yeah, that, I, that's why I'm saying if the value falls for Leonard Williams, that's where I think he, he could end up going because it's still a need for them. The other one I could see if, if a team paying him a lot is Indianapolis because they need help on that defensive line badly. So he could be a 4-3 defensive tackle, or he could play alongside Justin Houston as the other end. So could, I could see that working as a compliment to him too. Yeah. I, again, I don't know where they're going to want to spend the money. The Colts? The Colts have a ton of money to spend. And that's right, but you got to think, they got to sign a quarterback, right? 
Uh, yeah, but I, th I think That's they'll still be fine after Something that. Change. I mean, they have all their holes, but again, quarterbacks are their big hole, and front seven's really a big hole for them. They got Leonard, they got Houston, they got Anthony Walker is pretty good, but that's really it. They have their DTs are not good, and <coughs> I, did, I know they drafted some other pass rushers, but they had didn't, they didn't play well last year. So I could see them spending some money on a quarterback, and the rest really on that on that <laughs> defensive line. So I could see that working where Leonard Williams, who's still young, could be a good fit for them. All right, we'll go to another defensive player, one that you like, uh, Joe Schobert. I mean, the Giants make so much sense. The Giants make a ton of sense. They need a linebacker like him in the worst way to help everything out. Um, the problem is that their linebackers are kind of flustered right now. They got a lot of linebackers. Um, I'm going to just scare a lot of people right now. He's a Patriot. Prototype. Oh, my God. He's like Belichick's handcrafted linebacker. The question is, are they going to want to dish out that kind of money? Because he's going to get more money now than he was expected to. Because he's... He's improved every year. No, he's an absolute, he's a Pro Bowl caliber linebacker. My bad thing is New England's losing Kyle Van Noy, and I don't think they're bringing him back. So if you're going to pay Kyle Van Noy, you're going to pay Joe Sherbert. I think they're going to pay Go Joe Sherbert. I think they're going to pay Van Noy if they were to pick between the two of them, because I don't think he would cost this much, and he already fits. I think they would re-sign Van Noy over going for that. Here's another one that's interesting. A quick, fi quick fix, kind of similar type to... The one they lost, Carolina. He could, he could be a guy to replace Keekley. Now, Schobert's not as yeah. good of a run tackler, but he's very similar in terms of he's, he's a kid. he could be a physical coverage type, zone coverage type that Schobert is. He's very similarly big and fast for his size. I could see that kind of thing working. The only thing is Keekley's obviously far better as a tackler and a run stopper. But in terms of just fixing that end of it, that could help count, uh, complement Shaq Thompson, who's a good coverage linebacker, but he's more of a speed coverage linebacker. You give Schobert as a physical guy, that could end up working really just, obviously he's not going to replace Luke Keekley, but it'll help aid it a little bit. And I think if the Panthers don't draft somebody like Isaiah Simmons, that could help them Wow, focus. he's young. Yeah, Schobert's really young. Yeah. That could help them focus maybe on them drafting offensive line or them drafting a corner in the draft if they wanted to. All right, let's go to let's go to another running back, Jordan Howard. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I think Philly and him are done. I don't think he'll be back. Agreed. Um, you know what? I think the Jets could do it. Really? Yeah. Again, Joe Douglas is the one that made the trade for him. So I, I do think that Jordan Howard could be a fit. Plus, you got Le'Veon Bell as a playmaking guy. Bilar Powell is constantly hurt. Are you really going to rely on him? And the Jets got money. So you got your quarterback. You just need offensive line help. So uh, to me, you'll outside have offensive line and maybe a top-end top wide receiver or playmaker. That's fine. But I'm telling you now, I, I could see him being a Jet. Plus, he just wore green. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good reason. Here's here's an interesting fit that I think could end up working because I think he's a good complement to what their starter is. And how about Buffalo? He's a good complement, I think, to Singletary, <laughs> where I think that could end up working. He's just more right. of a straightforward runner. They're a cheap runner. team too. Yeah, they're. I don't think I don't think Howard's gonna get much, so I don't think. I don't. No, think that I, I I generally think that like their payroll is going to be one of the bottom ones in the league. Well, yeah. Unless they keep Frank Gore for another year, but I think he's, I think they're just going to let him walk. And I think Howard, again, at this point, he's still fast. He's a, he's good inside, good vision. The only thing he really isn't is a pass catching back, but Singletary could do all that. And again, I think it'd be a good compliment being he's better as an inside runner, as a bigger guy. So I think they could end up helping him as another fit. Now, if he's going to start, I don't, obviously he's not going to get paid by Buffalo, but if, I don't know if he'll be paid to start just because off, off of his injury. I think he's just going to be a backup at this point. All right, we'll go to another guy, a, a very big Speedy's Playhouse regular, Michael Pierce. Um, I would love to say the Ravens keep him, 
but the fact of the matter is he really didn't play well this year, and he didn't I wouldn't really, say that. I think he, he really played. didn't. He, he was coming a little, in little sh- down. He but came I- in extremely out of shape and rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. I think he's done in Baltimore. I, I could be wrong. Could very well be wrong. I think the Chiefs could go get him. That makes a lot of sense. I'll, I'll stay in division. How about the Raiders? I think that makes a lot of sense for the Raiders. They need to yeah. beef up inside too. They got pass rushers. Plus, they're now. going to Vegas this year. They're gonna need. They're gonna need star power. Is what they're gonna. Yeah, need. and when you look at the Raiders, the way their defense is structured, they got some young <laughs> pass rushers. They have safeties that are very good, yeah. but a big weakness is the middle of the field for them. Right. They got Maurice Hurst, who's nice, but he's. You know what? Sherbert could fit in Oakland too. Yeah, he could. Uh, Las Vegas, sorry. Yeah, he, he definitely I'm always going to call them the Oakland Raiders. He definitely could. All right, let's go to another one of the an offensive linemen you like, Joe, Joe Thune. It's hard because I I can't see him leaving New England, but Belichick is not going to pay everybody. I'm going to say he stays with the Patriots. Um, I'm trying to think. If he leaves the Patriots, the Jets should go get him. What else? You need guards, right? Assimile is not coming back. That's a right. disaster. And you don't have anybody. How about this? You go from the student, uh, you go from the mentor to the students. How about San Francisco? They could use interior help. You think so? Who's yeah, I mean, Lake and Tomlinson and uh, is it Mike Person. I mean, they're not great guards. I, I feel like they could upgrade there. <coughs> so who's the teacher? No, he goes from the teacher to the student. Tom Brady to Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> oh, that's oh, there you go. That's where you're going with that. I yeah. didn't know. I was like Belichick, Lynch, no, Lynch, no, <laughs> Shanahan, no. I was like, oh, I didn't get it. But yeah, that's a good one. That could happen. All right. Let's go to this. Corey Littleton. See, here's the thing about Corey Littleton, right? He was really good this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's what people are saying. How much of that was the fit and how much of that was Wade Phillips? Yeah, but he was still really improved in a lot of areas. I'll say this. I really, I'm trying to like think of where I can see him go. The Rams again make sense. I think the Rams are going to re-sign him, but if not, Jacksonville. That's possible. Um, Titans. I don't think the Titans really need him. They have enough linebacker depth. He's very similar to what they have too. So I don't think that's a big need for them. I mean, this team will have to overpay to do it because odds are he's not going to go there. Otherwise, the Bengals need him badly. They need linebacker help in the worst way, but they'll probably have to overpay for him. I think they should just build through the draft. Well, yeah, but they're not going to be able to build everything through the draft. They're taking a quarterback with their first pick, and then they need offensive line. They need linebacker, and linebacker's not really a deep position in the draft. They might be able to get somebody like Kenneth Murray or Patrick Queen later on in the second round, but even that's not a given. So... Again, they could definitely see a little Littleton. In terms of a contending team, Green Bay, I think, is a perfect fit for him. So they need middle <laughs> the field help really badly. Right. Run, run defense. Well, they're, if they lose Blake Martinez, they need a lot more than Yeah, and I think I think at this point it's better than Blake Martinez. You think so? Yeah, plus Blake Martinez is really injury prone. No, so that's one thing. I think at this point he's younger and better at this point. And the Packers how old, are... How old is Newt? Littleton, he's, I want to say 24. Because oh, okay. he was a special teams player before that for a little while. Let's see. He was, oh, no, he's 26. He was 2016 draft. I think I think Martinez is 28. 26. Oh, wow, they were the same draft? Okay. I thought Littleton was a 17 draft for some reason. Okay. I, I, regardless, he's still better, I think, at this point. All right, let's go to from an inside linebacker to an outside linebacker. Had a career year this year, Shaq Barrett. Yeah, you're not kidding. Um, he's going to get paid handsomely. I think Tampa Bay keeps him, but 
and he wants to stay there, so I, it's hard pressed for me to say he's gonna leave. Um, I want to say the Dolphins do it. I really have a feeling Miami's gonna pay for him. Big time. Well, he's a three-four outside rusher. The Dolphins are four-three defense. No, you can put him on the end, but I, I can just see Miami doing it. Um, well, that's fair for Miami's history. Yeah. Nah, uh, Miami always always goes for older pass rushers. I'll find the most Dolphins like free agents uh, on the list. Um, Let's see. Phil Rivers, but um. No, no, I'm talking about a pass rusher. They always overpay for older pass rushers. Why can't I think? Houston. Oh, here, here it is. Here's I'll, I'll say Houston. Here's who the Dolphins would overpay for: Jason Pierre-Paul. No. <laughs> that would be the most Dolphins move. Yeah, you're gonna love where I have him going. All right, uh, you said Houston for Shaq Barrett? Yeah. Because I agree with you. I think Tampa does bring him back, too. If not Tampa, there are other options. I could see him going back to Denver. See? Because I think he still fits there with what yeah, Vic Fangio likes who to you do. Play, who are you playing him over? Miller and Miller and well, they, they got rotational. Chubb they, well, Chubb, I think, could play end. I don't think he, they don't need to play him at outside linebacker the whole time. He has the size to play end as well. I could see that. Being something that could work. He goes back to Denver. They ripped off Tampa Bay. Well, they'll have to pay him, but I think they can pay him. The Broncos need more on offense, but again, most of the most of the things they need are offensive linemen. Which if they don't get Conklin or they don't get uh, Costanzo, then it's a big drop off in terms of being at a similar level to what they have. So I could see that kind of thing working. Because again, they they could use some outside rushing help. I could I could see that kind of thing working. All right, let's it's go. Let's <coughs> go to, go to. We'll go to another corner. Let's go to Darquez Denard. Oh boy, see, I I don't think he's gonna go back to Cincinnati. I'll say Buffalo. Do they need corner depth for? They got no, they're losing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Are they losing games? They're losing. Kevin Johnson. Eli Apple. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I think Johnson's probably a little better, but. Yeah, he's very injury prone though, so I could I could see where that ends up happening. Let's see, because he's going to be kind of a number two type, so maybe a really good number one, or he could even be a slot corner too. I know they've moved moved guys around like that. Here's what I could see: I could Uh-oh. see a team like Detroit doing that, because he's. You a think f- so, but they're trying to trade Slate. Well, that doesn't make sense. But, they're not trading. But but again, the Patriots. The Patriots mold came to Detroit, obviously. But Matt right. Patricia's trying to build that defense very similar. They've always liked more physical type corners. Now, granted, Denard is more of a physical zone type corner, and the Patriots are more man to man as on the Lions, but I think that would be still a good fit for what they like to do. They're kind of cash strapped as it is, so they're not going to be able to overpay for a better corner. But. I feel like that's a good fallback option. But the Lions don't really have to pay for a number one. They can pay for... They need a number two for a while. It's at least a little more stable than what they've had in the past. So I think I think that kind of thing could work. Yeah, that right. All right, let's go back on the interior defensive line. Jaron Reed. I think he's out of Seattle. Seattle can work. I agree. I think Seattle's out on this. I can see him go to Tampa Bay. Well, they're losing Sue, so I think it's possible. The question and is... You've traded McCoy. The so question you don't is, have anybody there, yeah, really. The question is if Tampa is going to have the... want to invest the money <laughs> into that. Because he's still a good pass-rushing type defensive tackle. I, they do need to prioritize their money in terms of offensive line and secondary. And... 
Their offensive line is not that far away. They need tackles, though. Their no interior is not bad. Through. Marpet's fine and Jensen's fine on the inside. I think they need tackles, though. And those are generally pricier. In, if you, it was the other way around, they had the tackles and didn't have the interior. I would say that probably is possible. But being that they don't have that, it's going to be hard for them to prioritize that kind of money there. Let's see. Defensive tackle. Green Bay, I don't know if he fits there. I know they need help in that area. But... Cincinnati, I see. I don't know if they need him necessarily, though. I would trade Geno Atkins about Cincinnati. Right, but I... Would I trade Atkins for a first-round pick or second-round pick. I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're probably a second-round pick. Here, so I'll get <laughs> I mean, maybe, but again I, again, I think their money is better off spent in other places as well. I said Indianapolis already for Williams, so I don't know if they would double down on defensive line. Then. The Raiders, I said for somebody else, too. Yeah, I said it for Pierce. How about Dallas? I think they needed help inside badly. I think that could be a good fit. Now, they, don't, may not, they might not have the money either. But it depends on who they keep and who they lose. But they need somebody like Jaron Reed in the middle, so I could see that kind of thing working. Maybe Buffalo. Buffalo doesn't need DT. They got Lutale, they got Oliver, and they got Harrison Phillips. Right, but isn't Lutale a free agent too? I'll look on the list. I don't see him. I, I, I haven't he might seen not be a top 100 free agent. I can't imagine. Eli Apple's on the list, and he's a lot better than Eli Apple. Mm. Uh, might be position based. No, it's, it's a list of the top 100. Yeah, but what I'm saying is he might be... No, no, no. I, I can't no this is top that. 100 overall No, no, I, no I know that. No, no, I, that's not what I meant. No, I don't see him on the list. But I thought Ludele was given a four-year deal. Has it been four years? I think this is only the second year of him being in Buffalo. <coughs> oh, maybe. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think that's really a fit. I'm just trying to think of the rest of the AFC. You know what? I take that back. Give him to the Ravens, because if they're going to lose Michael Pierce, they need to replace well, him. Well, he's not a nose tackle. He'd have to be an end on that team. No. I don't think so. Well, oh, no. I, well, yeah, because Brandon Williams would move to nose tackle, because he's big enough for that. And then you could, Yeah, then you have other ends you could rotate around. Jaron Reed is... I think he's 303 or something like that. <sighs> Yeah, 63306. I don't know if he can really be a nose tackle. He's more of a 4 3 defensive tackle or a 3 4 end. There's not a lot of 4 3 defenses that need no, uh, defensive tackles right now, though, so. It's gonna be a tough market for him. Dallas? That's why I said Dallas. Yeah. Did you say Dallas? I just said Dallas, yeah. I don't know if they can pay him, but they need him. They really need defensive tackle help, but that run defense was really bad last year. So I can see that kind of thing working. Yeah, I don't know where else would need it. Yeah, I'm gonna say Baltimore. Plus, Earl Thomas is there. Maybe a recruit him. Uh, I'm saying Baltimore. How about Arizona? Maybe that'll work. Stay in division because they're a four-three now, and Nembishke is gone. Right. They got Corey Peters, who's okay, but he could be a he could even be a first option as an interior guy. Help out that help out that pass rush. Plus, Chandler Jones doesn't have to be double teamed all the time either. Well, I could see that kind of thing working. Possibly. All right, let's move on. We'll go to speaking of Buffalo Bills, we'll go to one of their pass rushers, Shaq Lawson. Trying to think of He's where. a versatile guy too, so he is. He could go in a lot of different spots. I'm trying to think of who. I'm gonna say Jacksonville. Interesting. I could They're losing the Gakaway. 
So, well, I think they're I think they're replacing Nagak away, so Alec could have more playing time. Unless they move Campbell in inside. That's what I would do. I'd move Campbell inside, and let Allen take one okay. end, and then let somebody else play the other side. Now the question is, do they have? Well, no, he's not going to cost much. I don't think the money would really be that big of an issue for them. And they're going to trade Nick Bolt. Uh, possibly. I just don't know who's going to take that contract. There's going to be a lot of teams looking for quarterbacks. Right, but at right now I think there's more quarterbacks available than quarterback needy markets. Right. You already have the free agents that are listed. Even those guys, a lot of those are going to be backups. You have guys that are going to be drafted. I just think there's more teams right now that, or there's more quarterbacks that available than teams that need quarterbacks. So I, I think Nick Foles is going to be a contract they're just going to have to eat at this point and hope that he just does well as a backup when he's needed to, I guess. Snugs alert. Snugs alert. And I hope my wife is listening to this because she's not paying any attention to anything right now. Snugs, after the NFL free agent analyst, he wants Mrs. Tyler to come on and tell us how you found each other. I feel like there's a good story there. After the NFL analysis, Snugs wants you to come on and talk about how we met each other. One of the fans of the show. She's a little skeptical, Snugs. I'm sorry. I'll try. But I don't know if she'll come on or not. No promises. Anyway, go ahead, Speedy. <laughs> anyway, no promises. I have no promises. Yeah, uh, again, Lawson is versatile. I think <coughs> if, they do, if they don't get... Uh, Barrett, like I said, I think Denver could be an option for that. Because again, out, outside outside rosters, this I think is something they could use. My thing here is like, where's the money? I don't think Lawson's gonna I, make a lot of money. You don't? I don't know. Because he's think... been he's had off field issues. He's been in and out with injury. His, I'm trying to see. I know he's inconsistent game to game. I have to see season to season. Because I know he had a nice year this year, but season to season, I'm trying to see if he has a, has a consistency. Yeah, no, he really hasn't. He only had two sacks his rookie year, four each of the next two. Now, granted, he missed some time as well with injury in 2017. And then this year he had six and a half sacks. And then kind of a rotational role, too, because they still had Lorenzo Alexander there. But still, again, was never a full-time starter. So I doubt he'll really make a lot of money. So I think a team like the Broncos would be able to afford him. That's another uh, another spot I can see a team like Detroit doing because they could use they have power rushers, but they could use a speed rusher. Lawson, I think Lawson's definitely more of a speed rusher than he is a power rusher, and they could just have him do it in that role. And this is the one I think that'll be a, a definite, or not a definite, but a, it's a big need for this team because they only have power rushers too and need outside rushers. Is the Rams? And I think no matter who their defensive coordinator is, they I, have I no think money. A, yeah. But again, I don't think he'll be that costly. No, not even that. They have no money for anything. But they, I, they're gonna have to. That's why they're trying to figure out what the hell to do with Todd Gurley because right. he's retiring or whatever. Again, they that, need money. That's gonna be a tough contract to trade too, though. If they're trying to trade him, I, I don't know. I think they're gonna talk him out of retirement or cut him. That's gonna Into be hard. Retirement, yeah, sorry. that's that's gonna be hard. But again, the Rams again. Most of their positions of need are. Interior offensive line, which those aren't going to be costly positions, and they need outside rushers. They, they would hope they have to keep Littleton because otherwise they'll definitely need in middle, middle defense too. But again, I think this is a a good value option. And again, no matter what defense they play, I think he'll. Snug says he'll work. it's okay if you're shy. He doesn't want to sweat you. She said so, okay, Snug. All right, I'll say the Rams. All right, let's move off of Shaq Lawson. Let's go to. We'll go to another defensive end, Jabal Sheard. That's crazy. He was just the guy I was looking at. Um, the Colts make a ton of sense. So does Tampa Bay. Yeah, I can see that. So can Carolina. Uh, I don't think Carolina needs a defensive lineman. 
Mm. I think they're pretty much set there. They got three DTs. And they I got, got one. They got Burns. They got Irvin. I, I think they have enough there. I'm going to say the Eagles. They don't need them either. Nah, they got they, tons of defensive end depth. They, they love adding defensive ends, and I think they're going to trade one of them. Okay, if they trade one of them, that's different. But I don't think that's really a big need. Could you see him going back to the Patriots? I could. Yeah, because they, they, they could use some pass rush help, too. They're, they had to blitz a lot more than usual this season. Well, Winowich is going to play one side. Well, Vinovich can play a lot of different spots, though, so he's not going to be strict to just an <laughs> end. No. He's going to play a lot in coverage. I know that. Well, yeah, he can cover the flats. He can cover in certain man roles, yeah. But I'm saying in terms of a strict defensive end, the Patriots could use a, just a raw pass rusher. That's why I said they should have drafted... Who was the guy so they should have drafted it? Oh, Harold Landry, I think they should have drafted at the time. And even in the second round this year, I thought there was a fit that I liked perfectly for them. So I could see that happening. If he doesn't go back to the Patriots, maybe that's somebody that, I don't know, he's too old for the Giants. No, the Giants I don't think probably, so. Giants probably need a younger guy. They could use an outside rusher and I got the guys. Uh, nah, not Green Bay. He could be somebody for Seattle too if they lose Clowney. I could see that happening because right. he's he's another versatile guy. They can move around. They sometimes flanker pass rushing types into the flats too. So I can, I can see Seattle if he doesn't go back to the Patriots or if he doesn't go back to the Colts, like you're saying. He could go to New Orleans. Does New Orleans really need him, though? I, th- I think they're fine with end depth. I think New Orleans needs more secondary and linebacker help. Well, I don't know. Malcolm Brown? Malcolm Brown's fine. You got Davison. You got... Davenport, Onyamata, I think they're fine there. Mm-hmm. I like Onyamata. But so we're gonna take a quick break because we need to. Oh, here's an idea. Oh, too. here we go. Hold on. Here's an idea too. How about a uh, have a Patriot South, Tennessee? <laughs> you just told me they don't need end help. No, I said the. No, I said the Saints don't need end help. No, I just said. Uh, Who did you say Tennessee for? for? You said no. You, I, you said Tennessee for a linebacker, a middle linebacker. I said they didn't need a middle linebacker. They, they have been. I, I think they're fine with outside uh, outside linebackers, but they could use more depth because they lost a lot of their depth. They lost uh, Morgan. They lost Arakpo last year, so they're still not overly deep. They got that Wake. commercial still freaking. They got Wake and they got Correa, who is fine, but they could use another guy, and she might be that guy. Maybe, maybe. That's a good idea, Speedy. So we're going to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue a little bit more rapid-fire way of how we think your players or teams will do in free agency. And who knows if Snugs gets his wish. <laughs> I have no idea. She's the only one that can tell you, Snugs. But I'm coughing up a lawn over here. So we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to try some water or something and uh, hopefully get this village of frogs out of my throat. And uh, stay tuned. More NFL free agency next on the home stretch. You're, you're, you're listening to the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. And, and, and now the baseball team. Little League. Fantasy League. We are back, back, back with the home stretch on the oh, Worldwide no. Sports Radio Network. Welcome to the home stretch. I'm your host, Tyler Harrison. And it's officially bitten the Rangers in the ass. Jimmy VC has put them up 3 to. Ah. Anyone but Jimmy VC. <sighs> For those of you who know how I feel about Jimmy VC, you know why that hurt. And Rostolian with the assist. <laughs> well, so the X Ranger and the guy you want the Rangers to trade for. The guy I never want the Rangers to be trade, and the guy that the Rangers should make a trade for. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. And I don't care what anyone says. Jimmy Vesey feels good about himself right now. (laughs) 
Oh, of course he does. No, he never wanted to be traded. Nope. Nope, nope. I'm trying to think of who they got back for him. He's gone now. Yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad trade. Anyway, um, so we're going to continue this list. And uh, me and Speed will try to do this quicker, but yep. no promises. Here we go. Let's go to our first tight end. We haven't done a tight end yet. That's, that's All right. Austin Hooper. Okay. So he's the best free agent we've made by far. Uh, he's done in Atlanta. Right. Can't see him going back. You, you can see it? No, I said I agree. Okay. So... I'm going to go with the Las Vegas Raiders. No, you're not a believer in Darren Waller. <laughs> I'm a believer in the two tight end set. Possibly. All right. Well, maybe. Hey, play. the Rangers have retaliated. No, they have not. That's a lie. <laughs> Sorry. No, I saw flickering lights. I thought there was a goal. Targeting Jimmy VC. <laughs> Start a fight. <laughs> I just want the Rangers to win, honestly. All right, so for me, here's a, a huge goal. Here's, here's a fit that I think is good because they, they need targets really badly. They need receivers for sure, but they can also use a tight end. They got a rookie playing tight end right now. This is where I think Buffalo, I think, is a perfect fit. I agree. I just can't see him spend the money. Well, no, that's a whole other question, but... It's a big need. So again, I'm doing this based on where they will go, not who I think should sign them. Oh, okay. Well, that's why I mean, Steve probably will never have the same answer here. But all right, I guess I'll, I guess I can switch. All right, that's fair. All right, let's go to another safety, Carl Joseph. Oh man, I think he stays in Oakland. Um, really? Yeah, I do. Him and uh, Abrams could be lethal together. Lethal. Well, they also got Joiner there too. Mm, also yeah, Joiner to corner. Well, he can play in the slot, and Abrams can even play in the slot, I think. But and Abrams honestly can play in the middle of the field as a linebacker. But it's possible. I'm trying to think of if he left, who needs a run stop? Houston. If I'm Houston, I oh go yeah, him. that's good. All right, if I'm Houston, I go get him immediately. He replaces the Honey Badger to a T. Yeah. Not in the coverage, but he, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's really good. The other one I could see is if they don't, if they don't draft one, I could see Dallas because I don't think it'll cost right, much. Right, they, right, they right. Use a safety, but they might draft a safety this year, so, I don't know. so that's definitely a possibility. All right, let's go to another pass rusher. We mentioned the name earlier of his former team, Yannick Nagakwe. This is by far the most important free agent. Um, you ready for this? Alrighty, what do you got? The New York Giants. Ooh, I like it. I want him badly. The New York Giants have to go get it. I like it. I like it. I think they'll have to, again, because they're a lower level team, they'll have to overpay a little, but they have the money to do it, so I don't mind it. I think the team, I think another team, just because I think they're losing one, and pass rush is their biggest need by far is Atlanta. So, I, I'll say it. Even though I want him on the Giants very badly. All right, he let's goes to Atlanta. That defense will be top five for me. I think they, I think they'll still draft a pass rusher too. I could see, I could see somebody like AJ Espinosa or uh, KB on Chase on the LSU pass rusher. I could see them getting one in the first round too. To go along with yeah, Kinley. But and if they, I'm them, I'm drafting a lineman. Yeah, defensive line. <laughs> no offense. Oh, off. They drafted a lot of them last year. No, Lindstrom. Lindstrom's fine. Lindstrom Alex Mack is gonna. Eventually. You got Lindstrom, you got Caleb and Gary, you got still you still got Matthews there, and you got Mac. I think that's fine. Mac's 35 years old. Yeah, but you can get a you get an interior guy there. There's not really a standout interior offensive line that's gonna go that well, early. And that's the other thing. I don't really know the draft yet. So if I'm around for the draft. Yeah, there's more, more games left. There's no big name interior offensive line than like Quentin Nelson was in his draft. Or, yeah. There's nothing like that in this draft. Even for a center, there's really nothing like that. So I think they're going to prioritize pass rush, and then maybe they'll do that later. 
All right, so from an in, uh, from a defensive lineman to an offensive lineman, let's go with Jack Conklin. Again, the Giants, but they're not going to get three major guys out there. Um, watch out for San Francisco. They need another tackle. No, no, but if but, Staley retires, you're yeah. Thinking? Oh, San Francisco could be. But if Staley comes back. Staley comes back. I'll go with the Jets. Alright, I'll stay I'll stay in the Niners division. Arizona. Huge need for them, and I think he fits them perfectly because he's more of a movement based lineman. He's a really good run blocker too. So I think it's perfect for somebody like Arizona. Alright, let's go to. Let's go to Melvin Gordon. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Um, I'm trying to think of who could possibly be here. Why could they? Wow. Yeah, this is tough. There's not a lot of team speed running backs. No, it's not. I'm trying to think of who has a. I would My say Tampa. If, if, I would say Tampa if they weren't going to target David Johnson. But I think they're going to get David Johnson. I see Miami get him. Maybe. Washington. <laughs> Dan Snyder gives him the highest yeah, contract it's for a running Dan back Snyder in NFL move, history. Yeah. It's absolutely, a Dan Snyder. <laughs> he'll, move. he'll he'll leap he'll leap Frog Zeke's contract by five million dollars a year. <laughs> that would be classic Dan Snyder. Oh, well, there's so many good running backs in our division. I'll overpay for one. <laughs> Drake to the Cardinals already, right? Yeah, I mean, if they don't, maybe it's a possibility. You know what? Cleveland. Really? Yeah. If that, if his, uh, Kareem Hunt had a one year deal, right? Yes. So, I'd rather pay Melvin Gordon than Kareem Hunt. Hmm. I'm trying to think how cash strapped they are. I don't think they're that cash up. They, they don't have a lot of draft picks, but Houston, I can see. Because they need running backs. Oh, yeah. But I was going to... Yeah, but I just gave Conklin to Houston, so I didn't want to double dip. Okay. Okay. But again, I don't even think they're that cash up right now. They paid Hopkins. They paid Tunsil. And... Is it? Watt. Watt. Watt and... They, they're going to have to pay McKinney, but... Cunningham. They don't have much beyond that. They're really just at a loss of draft capital. So I think that could be a big deal. I think it could be a big deal. <laughs> and Connolly. Oh, and Connolly. All right. And so. Reed. No, they don't have to pay Reed for a while. Just for three years. They'll okay. be within that Melvin Gordon contract. No, I know, but I, that, that won't be for a while. So, yeah, they're just draft pick. Uh, they're... They don't have any draft picks, but I think the money issue will still be fine, even if they do also get an offensive lineman, so, so I don't think that'll be an issue. All right, let's go to a quarterback, finally. We've waited for a while. Let's go to Mr. Brady. New England. I'm not even I'm not even giving you a second round for New England. I think he should go back to New England. The I, don't know, just would. I don't know if he will, but I think he should go back to New England. What a goal. Watch that. Watch that. Mika Zibidjad might be the most underrated player in the NHL. That's very possible. Uh, the guy. He's always forgotten about because of Panarin. What a pass. Very nice. What a pass. That's why you pay Panarin $10 million a year. That is indeed correct. All right, so it was all oh, Brady. So the I agree. Zebra? I think he should go back to New England. Zebra. Zebra. Yeah. Red Z Zebra. Ah, oh, that's good. Thank you. That's good. So yeah, I think I think Brady should go back to the Patriots. I don't know if he will. If not, it'll probably be the Titans. This Patriots South. I think that makes a ton of sense. Reuniting with Vrabel and. 
No, they don't have any offensive skill players. They mostly signed the Patriots defensive players. No, they got Dion. Oh, Dion Lewis. Okay. They got. They got Dion Lewis. So, it'll be Dion Lewis. The Lady Walker is basically what Tom Brady's used to. <coughs> and they'll sign another ex Patriots receiver. And Humphreys is element, so it makes it sound so good. Yeah, I can see that. All right, let's go back on the defensive side. Let's go to Justin Simmons. Denver needs to re-sign him at all costs. I agree. I think he will re-sign with Denver, and I think they should re-sign him. If not Denver... I mean, there's every Chargers. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, he, he, he compliments somebody like Derwin James well. Oh, Derwin James can do everything. Right, but it'll allow Derwin James to be more of a robber and box safety if they want him to be. The, the, the Bradley Beal, not an all-star train, continues. He hit a game winner tonight against the Mavericks, but he's not an all-star. <laughs> well, nope. All-star games are popularity contests. We know that already. Especially the NBA. <laughs> oh, joke. Especially joke, joke, joke. joke. Uh, all right, so Simmons, if he doesn't if he doesn't go to Denver, which I think, yeah, Denver should keep him. I could see that could be a Detroit move too, because they could use some secondary help. They lost Quandre Diggs. Good. Again, can they afford him? Though? Yeah, that's a question. Yeah, I might. Yeah, they might have to go in other areas because they do need linebacker. They do need corner. And they probably could use a running back. I know you Detroit? like. Yeah, I know you like Carry on Johnson. It's always no, I like Carry on Johnson, but I, I would admit that he's probably better off than two. So yeah, if they don't go in those areas, I, I could see them try to go for a safety. I think Simmons, when looking at the safeties, the other free agent safeties are Anthony Harris. You got Ha Ha Clinton Dix. So really? they, if they want to go for a veteran guy, they could go with Ha Ha Clinton Dix. But Simmons is I probably just as good, if not better, right now. And then you got Jimmy Ward, who you like. Uh, Demarius Randall to, and Trey Boston. That's really it for free agency. So, <laughs> bless you. Oh, thank you. All right, so I, I, I'll say Detroit. Let's go to let's go to Gerald McCoy. Oh. Oh. He's a free agent right now. I don't see Carolina bringing him back. I don't think so either. Oh God. Um. So, <coughs> what do we say? Gerald McCoy. So Gerald McCoy. Um, sorry, I was I just freaking oh sneezed my freaking heart out. Uh, I'm trying to think of who. So he can play either inside or outside. To he me, he can play inside three four outside or uh, inside four three outside three four. You know what? I think it's a cash trap. Who? Oh. Chicago. They paid Mac. I think Fuller. they just paid Fuller. And well, they, they had they had some of the older contracts from the, the veteran guys and the offensive linemen that they had. No, no, no. Trevathan and the offensive linemen. No, no, no. I don't think they're I don't think they are that cash trap where that's gonna be an issue. I just don't know if he'll fit there though. Oh, he can do anything. I feel like him being a 3-4 end kind of takes away his pass rushing ability. And also, he, he's kind of declined as a one-stopper. Is that 3-2? Yeah. Oh, that's close. I don't know. I think so. I think the Rangers are going to make this interesting. Yeah, that's a goal, That's a goal. Go. That's the goal. Very Thank you, nice. Chris Kreider. You've earned your paycheck. Trade him now. I, I, listen, I'm not opposed to keeping him. If they come back and even get a point in this game, that's a playoff team mentality. Right now. Be down 3 nothing and score three goals in five minutes. Good job. Go ahead, Steve. I was going to say, I just don't. I think that would diminish his value if he goes to a 3-4 defense. 
So I think he's really just a 4-3 guy. Unless I guess Denver. He's going to be the primary pass rushing offense. Andrew could make it work. Maybe. I could see that. But again, would that be able to downgrade his pass rushing options? Now, he would fit in terms of their nickel defense and their their uh, three the 3-3-5 three, three, defense, because Vic Fangio does do that a lot with three linebackers and five defensive backs. That, but Because that is a big need for Denver. They do need help up front. Derek Wolf is up as your best guy up front. Is not Derek really Wolf is not bad. Eh. Yeah, I don't think he's really been that good since uh, Vance Joseph. Not Vance Joseph. Uh, who's the def- since, Yeah, Wade Phillips. Since Wade Phillips left, he hasn't really been that good. So, I don't know. I, that is a big need for them, so... I could see that. And then, like I said earlier, I think the, the team that needs the flashy moves is in the new city just for a big name, and it's a big need for them too is the Raiders. I could see that being a really good fit for them too because they could use some big names. Um, all right, let's go to another, def- uh, another defensive player here. This is a name that's been rumored a lot. Same position, Chris Jones. Um, yeah, so Kansas City needs they should try. I don't know if they will, though, because they're they're kind of cash not cash up badly, but they're still having with the Mahomes contract booming. They're still they have to know they have to save money for that. No, they're still having results. They pay Tyree Kill. They pay Kelsey. So they're yeah they're on the probably toward the bottom end of being cash strapped, but. They should try to bring him back. I don't know if they will, though. Dallas. That's a team that I don't know if can afford him. No. If that's the if that's the case, they're not getting anything else because he's gonna make a lot of money. What else do they need? They don't really need they need, well, they need to re-sign Amari Cooper. He's going to cost, I don't know if he's going to make the first tier free, uh, free agent wide receiver money. Well, you know what? Hold that thought. I might actually have, I might have the answer here. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers. Oh, that's perfect. I got the Chargers. Yeah, they're not, they're not heavily cash strapped. I can see that happening. Enjoy Bosa. You don't have to pay because he's going to go play with his brother in San Francisco. Really? You think he will? Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. Can the Niners afford him, though? Yes. Yeah. You're not... They if they, Sherman, they're not they paying paid. Armstead full term. They're going to get him on the franchise well, actually, I feel like they'll. I, I feel like they might let Armstead go, though. No, they'll franchise him. They're not letting him walk. You can't let him walk. He's a top 5, 10 pass rusher in the league. Mm, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, he's... Top 10 good. pass rusher? Mm-hmm. Closer to 10 than 15. Just being in the overload in that area, it, it could be tough if they would bring him I'll back. I'll just read what the reports are. I mean, <laughs> don't try. It's just a matter of he's going to want to get paid, too. So this is his first contract. They have a big overload of defensive linemen. Are they going to do it? I don't know. Because remember, that wasn't John Lynch's pick, either. That was the previous GMs, too. So John Lynch might trust his own guys. So... It's possible. Uh, again, that's another big thing I think a team like the Chargers definitely could do. Let's see, the Colts. I think, I think we're kind of running off the, the teams we already said for interior guys. Maybe Miami overpays for him. It's a possibility. Yeah, I'll agree with you. They'll say the Chargers. All right, let's go to let's go to the aforementioned Amari Cooper. Does he stay in Dallas? Doesn't fight. Um... No, no, Dallas will lose Amari Cooper. So you think they'll pay Dak and, and let Amari Cooper go? Yeah. Amari Cooper, go. You know what? Never mind. Take that back. They're going to keep Jones. Uh, they're going to let Jones walk. I agree. That's what I think's going to happen. <laughs> Which is a mistake, but anyway. Um, if not, Dallas... More? Ooh, yeah. That could work. I'll say I'll say the Bills. I think that could work too. 
They need a receiver badly. See, here's the thing, though. Again, I don't know how strapped the Bills are for money. Well, they paid some offensive linemen last year. Davis White's going to get a payday. Tredavious White has to get paid. So, yeah, they need to save up for him. But everything else is really homegrown on that team. Luda, or Ludale's not. The rest of their defense is homegrown right now. Jerry Hughes. Jerry I Hughes, I think, is already paid. paid already. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how much he's paid. But again, they have quarterback that they don't have to pay for a while. Running back they don't have to pay for a while. <laughs> right. So I think they could afford to do it. And that's really their biggest need now by far since they The both Browns have... might also do it. Mm. If they trade Odell and Jarvis Well, Landry. if they trade Odell, yeah, that's a big key, though. I don't think they should trade Odell. I don't think so either. There's a lot of receiver needy teams, though, but the Ravens and the Bills are definitely the two that can afford it the most. In terms of one, it's their biggest need in terms of roster construction. And two, neither of those are the, are the cash strap. I would say Tennessee if they weren't cash strap, but they paid a lot of defense already. They overpaid Deion Lewis, which didn't help, so they might have trouble getting the best offer. So I think either the Bills or the Ravens definitely makes the most sense if Dallas doesn't bring him back. I think he'll go back to Dallas, but if not, I think that's where it'll be for Amari Cooper. All right, let's go to – oh, here's an interesting one. Chris Harris. So here's the thing. I think the Saints are going to get in a second corner. Like, I think him or Jimmy Smith could go to New Orleans. Um, I think Jimmy Smith will be cheaper, so I think Jimmy Smith in New Orleans makes more sense. But – I don't know. It depends on what he wants. If he thinks he can, I think at this point, his best bet is to go to a team like Pittsburgh or a team like. <coughs> I want to say Cleveland, but. No, a team I don't think that's a, a, a team that. Nah, Denzel Ward's phenomenal, but outside of that. Well, Greedy Williams is good as a two. Too. Oh, right. That's right. They do get greedy. I forgot. Here's a team Washington. Yeah, I could say that. Or Philly. Because Philly was the big... I'll say Philly. Because Philly was rumored to trade for him, and they did want to trade. Yeah, I definitely I think Philly's the biggest one. I think what will end up happening is he'll follow wherever Wade Phillips goes. Because Wade Phillips still hasn't signed with anyone yet. It's defensive coordinator. I think, those are, maybe, I think he'll be more patient and just wait it out. But yeah, from a team perspective, I think he's I agree. Coach. You, don't think, you don't think he'll come back as a defensive coordinator? No, he's old. He's old, I think he's going to go back. He's still really good, though. So. No, that's not what I'm saying, but I think he wants to just walk away. All right. That is possible. All right, I'll agree with you on Philly for that one. All right, let's go to... Let's go to another quarterback. Let's go... We'll go to Dak. Does he stay in Dallas? I mean, God damn it, they don't keep him. What the hell are you doing? Uh, Dallas needs to keep him. I think he'll stay in Dallas too. Now, if he doesn't go, if he doesn't stay, where does Chargers. he go? Chargers. Chargers. Chargers get, are going to get a quarterback. Chargers need a quarterback. Well, they do. So as do a lot of other teams. They're not starting Geno Smith. No, that's I know. Not, I know. Well, no, it's not Geno Smith. It's Tyron Taylor. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. They might start Tyron Taylor, though, because Anthony Lynn, well, before he, he, since he's staying there, before he was the Chargers head coach, he was the Bills running backs coach. So he has familiarity with them. Yeah, uh, I can't believe they... Well, I, I, well I could, not for a long term, but I could see them doing that and drafting a quarterback as a, as a project. Yeah. And working yeah. with that. Yeah, uh, whatever. I don't, I, don't like, I don't like what's going on there. I don't. Well, it's possible, we'll see, because the, the Chargers are far from cash trap. They never pay their players. So... That's definitely a possibility. Once again, Hunter Henry back. They've already got... Th that team is pretty much set. Mm. Right, like, yeah. Offensive line. Well, uh, sure, but there's a lot of teams in the offensive line. That's not a big need for them. Their best player is Lamp. Forrest Lamp, and he plays five games a year. <laughs> <coughs> so that's not good. So they really need a lot of the offensive line. All right. Um, in terms of... I don't see Tampa because he's not going to be the kind of guy Arians likes. Who? Dak. Uh, I'm saying if they were to leave Dallas, where would he go? Ooh. 
Here's one. If they trade, no, well, no, because they're they're kind of cash strapped. I was gonna say Carolina, but Carolina's drafting a quarterback. I either that or they'll stick to their young guys. Yeah. Don't, and they're working out Cam. They're not exactly. Everyone keeps mentioning Cam out of there. They're not 100. percent Well, sure they're getting I think the reason people are doing that is because. Matt Rule's a college coach, so he probably is brought there to work with the young quarterbacks. No, I get that. but So they might try to move him. You don't think further. in the back of their mind they're going Trevor Lawrence next year? But are they going to be Lawrence, that who's bad? Who's the other kid? Uh, Fields, but are they going to be that bad, though? Uh, I don't think they're a terrible team. They're kind of an average team right well, now. The question is, the answer is yes. They're kind of an average team right now. Uh, they'd have to probably trade up. Well, the yes. right, who else? I'm trying to think. Yeah, the, the rest of the markets are not very good. Watch him go to the Redskins if Dallas lets him go. <laughs> that would be funny, too. <laughs> yeah, but uh, here's the thing about Washington. I don't know. No, if I don't Ron, think they should Ron do Ron is not going to want Dwayne Haskins as his guy. No, I don't. I don't think they should do it. I just can see Dan Snyder doing that too to spite the Cowboys. That, must, uh, be, that would be really funny. Uh, <laughs> NFC West. No, nobody needs a quarterback there. All quarterback needed teams are going to go through the draft. There's only one guy I don't know where he's really. Going. Indianapolis, maybe. I, I can see that. Dak. Yeah. Is he that much of an upgrade from Jacoby Brissett where yes. you should pay him $35 million? No. Yeah, he's an upgrade. He's I'm, not $15 million better than Dak, uh, Jacoby Brissett. That's not true. Well, I don't know if he'll get that much money either. He but turned I down think... $33 million. He wants 40 He's well, yeah. going to get 38 He's going to be patient and he's going to be stingy, of course. But when he realizes that won't be his value, then... Somebody like the Colts who has money could fall back on him getting thirty. No, if he if he's taking a pay cut, then the, that favors down. And what do we? And hit, the receivers they have here are similar to what he's used to and what he's worked with. Frank Reich can help him out a lot. And Frank Reich Frank Reich did well with Jacoby Brissett. I think that could make a difference. They have a very middle tier pick, so they're gonna have to trade up to get a quarterback anyway. That'll save the draft capital for them, I think. That'll really be a beneficiary to them. It's a young team. They should stay. No, young. no, absolutely. But I don't think I, I have them getting somebody else. Really? All right. <laughs> let's go to. Let's go to Byron Jones. We'll stick with the former cowboy because we both think that he's not going to be a cowboy. Billy. <laughs> revenge, revenge. The only problem I have with that. Philly or Washington? No, who do I, I gave Chris Harris to Philly, right? Yeah. Washington. Washington. The only problem I could see with that with Philly is not that I, they don't need Washington. a corner. Okay. But they have too many like who? small corners already like that. So. No, he's not. No, he's not. Don't threaten me. Oh, my God. I'm out of here. Oh, he's on the phone. So. It's not up to me. Uh, Yes. We are live, yes. We are always live. Yes, oh, Marx is here. If he's actually going to, uh, no, he's, he's half distracted. I don't know what he's doing. Just let it be for now. The, again, the only problem I have with Philly and is the, is the small corners. There's so, so many of them on that team. I think they need more of a Chris Harris guy. That's great. I said Washington. Oh, okay. Washington. I forgot that I gave Chris Harris. Washington is definitely one. Uh, I could see somebody like Carolina going after him. They, they need a number one. Yeah. Bradbury's a number two. Bradbury. He's a number two. I think he's... Well, he's a free agent, too. Yeah, I think they'll hang on to him as a number oh, two, and they'll okay. sign Jones as a one, because they, they do need a corner, I think. Especially now with Keekley retired. Keekley helped aid a lot of that those bad the corner play up, yeah. with good coverage, and now they're not going to have that, so they're going to have to spend on a corner. If, again, they don't spend on a linebacker replacement, I think that could be a good fit. I could also see, well, no, he's going to want number one corner money. I was going to say Arizona, but he's not going to be want to pay, be paid like a two. Who? Byron Jones. He's going to want number one corner money for right. Arizona. Well, that could be, that could, well, no. The Rams could also be a spot. They're too cash-strapped. 
he, he can make it back in those. Yeah, but I, I, the Rams need too many other things. I don't think they should do it. I think they should spend their money on offensive line. And Who's the Rams corner right now? Oh, right now it's Troy Rams Hill. Right. It's Troy Hill right he's now. He's a free That's their two. Yeah, but it, uh, he's expendable. I don't think he's that much of a drop-off from who their third guy is. So I, I wouldn't do that if I were the Rams. I'm trying to think where else. I could see the Steelers because he does fit in that kind of defense. But would you want to pay him when you're paying Minka Fitzpatrick? They're not paying Minka Fitzpatrick. They're about to. He's a third-year player, huh? They right. have time. They have time. So this year is four, and then he's got one no, more year after. No, it's third year this year. Right, and it's a five-year contract. Right, so they don't have to so pay him for a while. this year and one more. Yeah, they don't have to pay him for a while. <laughs> I'd get it out of the way now. It's cheaper I now. I wouldn't be worried about that right now. I'd pay him now. Here's another one, too, the Raiders. That's actually a perfect fit for him. They need it. They well, need corners badly. Yeah, that's, yeah, Their best right. corner is LaMarcus Joyner, and he's a low-end two slash slot corner. They got a rookie that I like, in tra- or had a rookie that I like in Trayvon Mullen, but he's a two right now as well, maybe a three. So they need a number one. I think that's actually a really good fit. All right, let's get off of him. Let's get off of him. Let's go to... Jamie Collins. I think this one's pretty easy. <laughs> I don't think he goes back. I don't either. I think he goes. I think. I w- see if you're thinking Titans. I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking Detroit. <laughs> Oh, they need uh, a linebacker yeah, badly. No, that's Titans fine. don't need a linebacker. Uh, if, if the Titans need that's a linebacker. That's why, I, uh, right, but I don't know. I didn't think, I didn't think it was that big of a problem. So you agree you think Detroit too? Yeah. All right. We'll go back to the offensive line. Brandon Scherf. Um, Detroit. Do you think they need him? I know they lost Lang, but they still got uh, Rack now and... Ragnow is the center. Or not Ragnow, Glasgow. I mix their names up all the time. It's yeah, pretty it good. And who's their other guard? I, their yeah. line is not bad. Ode Abushi. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe. But again, they're so cash strapped. Are they, they going to want to spend money on a, something they're already pretty strong? And their offensive line's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's, they have so many other needs where I wouldn't go there. I'm actually thinking because it's a huge need for them to stay in their division. Green Bay, I think, it's a huge need for them to get an interior off an interior offensive lineman. Yeah, yep. Elson Jenkins played well. Corey Lindsley's been in and out with injury. So sure. Okay, but Scherf is a lot better. No, I'm not down that. But you're gonna pay some. And they don't. They don't need much. Uh, like I said, they don't need much else. They need linebacker. I think. They could use maybe another corner and <coughs> uh, three, four defensive end. But again, those are not going to be pass rushing types, so those won't be h- much to pay. The Packers will probably find that in the draft. Right, but you can find guards in the draft, as you told me before. That's fine, but I'm just saying it's possible where they could pay for this, because he's still young, too. And then it'll give them affordability to draft something else, like a linebacker or a a defensive end. The other thing I can see them doing is reuniting with a guy they just let go of, too. Mike Daniels. That's a possibility. So, that's interesting. Alright, let's go to... Michael Brocker. Speaking of free four end. Seems like every we've gone through all the teams that need these. <coughs> if I'm the Rams, I'm trying everything I can to really re-sign him. Maybe for affordability sense, just because again they're a little cash strapped. If he doesn't get as much money, Tennessee maybe could be an option. Go next to Jarrell Casey. I could see that kind of thing working. All right, let's go to 
the veteran receiver on the market, A.J. Green. I really want to save New Orleans. I think it's perfect for New Orleans. I don't know if they have them. Drew Brees has had a lot of those throughout his career, more possession-type receivers. You know, it fits like a glove. I yeah. just don't know if they'll pay him. I'm going to say New Orleans because he's second receiver and a second corner are their only weakness. To me. Right, and I think that would be perfect for them. All right, let's go to... Did we do Conklin already? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay. All right. If he doesn't, for some strange reason, re-sign with the Titans, Derrick Henry. And we agree he's going to the Tennessee? Yeah, I think when he re-signs, I'm just saying, if he doesn't, who would take him on? Patriots. Really? I think the Patriots would give that much money to a running back. Um, no. It's not really like them. It's not. But neither is like Antonio Brown and they didn't pay Josh Woods. No, they didn't. Um, I don't know. San Francisco is a possibility. Spend their money in other areas too. <laughs> I really can't think of a team. Tampa, maybe again, if they don't. Nah, go after, they, if they don't jo- go after, David Johnson's going to Tampa. I agree. Right? I'm not. If they can't, if they don't want to trade for David Johnson, why and, pay? Why pay Derrick Henry though? You don't have anything right now. You don't even have a quarterback. Well, yeah, but again, they can. They're not heavily cash-strapped either. You've got O.J. Howard, you've got Mike Evans, you've got Chris Godwin. You don't need Derrick Henry. No, I'm just, yeah, it takes pressure off of them, doesn't it? Yeah. Whoever the quarterback's going to be, I don't know. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Because, yeah, there's not a lot of running back needing teams. Maybe, maybe the Eagles, I could see that. Oh, if that happens, it's a wrap. The NFC East will be over by week six. That offensive line is nice, too. And I don't think the Eagles are horribly cash-strapped, either. No, right? especially if they're not bringing back Jason Peters. And then you got, again, Miles Sanders to compliment him nicely. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Perfect. But again, we, we agree to just go back to the Titans anyway. Right? I think that's pretty The much. Bills. If the Bills are going to make a move, it should be there. Ooh, that's interesting. That, that, uh, there you go. Yeah. He leaves Tennessee, I'll say Buffalo. Maybe that's, that's interesting. All right. Let's go back to a quarterback. Let's go to Ryan Tannehill. Does he stay with the Titans? Should he stay with the Titans? He should, and he probably will. But there's the quarterback carousel is just going to be crazy, right? So... I could see it being like a team like Cincinnati where they want him to kind of be a backup in case Joe Burrow gets hurt. Okay. Or Indianapolis. Yeah. They miss out on the guy I think they should go get. Um, Arizona. I'll say Arizona. Arizona's a backup. Yeah. Arizona or um, who did I just say? Indianapolis. Indi- Indianapolis, I think, makes perfect sense. But and then let him and Brissett battle it out. But I, I do think that he'll stay in Tennessee. Yeah, I think he'll stay in Tennessee too. If not, I think he'll, he'll have a hard time finding a starting job. Uh, I'm trying to think. An injury-prone quarterback. Maybe the Steelers is a better backup instead of Mason Rudolph. No, right. But they say they're not spending any money on the quarterback. So. Okay. No, I don't, think, I don't think they will either. But I'm just saying it's well, a possibility. That, that's awful. How do you start Duck Hodges and Mason Rudolph? That's how you go 0-16. Well, they went 8-8. Eight eight, so yeah, because they got Minka Fitzpatrick, Mike Tomlin, and T.J. Watt. That's they still have. have. No, I know that. But these guys are only, oh, God. 
We didn't not expect even to... we... third No, I know, but we didn't expect it to affect their overall defense the way it did. Well, I said Mingo would improve that team dramatically. I didn't know they'd win eight games though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to. Let's stick with quarterbacks. Let's go to Philip Rivers. Indianapolis. He is the perfect fit. Starts right away. This team it has the best offensive line in football. Assuming they bring back Stanzo. They got the weapons already. The defense can do it. They lost games because they didn't have Andrew Luck. Phillip Rivers can win those games. So, uh, Indianapolis and Phillip Rivers are the I can see. I can see this. If, the, if, they're, if they can't trade for Matthew Stafford, because I do think they're going to try to trade for him. Indianapolis? No. No, oh. the team I'm referring oh, whoa, to. Whoa, 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 Because the Stafford's frustrated with the Lions. If they don't trade for him, and again, they, wherever they spend their money, I don't know. I could see that being the Buccaneers, too. Because <laughs> Bruce Arians is a veteran quarterback. I feel like he'll take on that challenge trying to rebirth Philip Rivers. Right, but I think he took the job in Tampa Bay knowing that if Winston left, he was going to get a young quarterback. I think they'll get one, too. I think the young quarterback he wants is Jacob Eason. Because Jacob Eason's a big arm quarterback. He's a project, though. That's why I think he'll, it'll take him time. They'll take Philip Rivers on a two year deal or something like that. You see if they can rebirth yeah, him. This is last year. Well, all right, fine. But then, okay, then you start Eason at that point. Or yeah. you, if he's not ready, you go sign someone else. So I, the reason I say that is I think that's who Bruce Arians will want. He loves guys that can sling the ball. Eason has good mobility and. He's got a lot of arm talent, but he also is a project because he had a down year. He had a transfer year. So it's going to take him a little while to get acclimated to the NFL. So that's why I say I have this person possibility. I think Stafford is a perfect fit there for, for Arians. And I told you this when we were off air last week. I think they would be a playoff team with Stafford. But, oh, yeah. But I with Rivers, again, we'll see. But that's a possibility. Well, they be a playoff team with Stafford. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, they lost a lot of one possession games. Stafford wasn't playing. Yeah, the beginning of the season, and the rest. Yeah, of the season, he like, missed like. Yeah, and the rest of the and the rest of the season they got blown out. Because they didn't have Matt Stafford. Does he make up twenty whatever points they lost by? Good. Snugs alert. Yeah, we're getting ready to wrap this up here. I'm dying to know: Is Earl dressed tonight like he stole Flavor Flav's clothes? Is he tracksuit from last night, or is he dressed as club ready Earl? Hashtag heckle the heckler. Yes, I know Earl. I'm an idiot. Uh, Earl's not listening to us. So. Alright, how many more do you want? Uh, make it a two. How many? Uh, do two. Two? Alright. Well, we got one quarterback left, and we'll do Jadavian Clowney as the other. Alright. Retirement, or he comes back from the wall. Agreed. Do breathing. Alright, and then Jadavian Clowney. Um, Miami. I think he goes back to Seattle, but if he leaves Seattle, Miami, or the Giants? I don't think he goes back to Seattle. I think Seattle likes to rotate different defensive ends. They'll sign somebody else. Yeah, they else. traded a lot. They, that's not characteristic of them. They didn't trade, trade a lot. Big. They didn't trade a lot at all. They yeah, traded a third-round pick, Barkevius Mingo, and Jacob Martin. That's not much at all. No. Never mind. Jacob Martin's a special teams guy, and Mingo's a platoon pass rusher. So, uh, they, I, I thought think, they got a first one. No, they didn't. They, the Texans got a first for, or the Texans traded a first to Miami, not Seattle. Uh, let's see, where could he go? That could be another one for Indianapolis to go on the other side of Justin Houston. I could see that kind of thing working. Again, whoever doesn't get Nagakawe is going to be, well, oh, that's right. going to be a primary. Like I said, I think Atlanta gets Nagakawe, so that could be that could be somebody for the Giants too, because he's still young. Right, and, I said Giants for Miami. Yeah, I, I think that's Miami a nice fit. Him, that's a is. nice fit for. We don't know what the defensive coordinator, what, what's going to happen with him, because Patrick hybrid. Graham's going to have his his influence. Hybrid. They, they have a hybrid defense, and Clowney's a hybrid guy. I think it's a it's a nice fit for him there. So I, I would. I would do it if I were the Giants. I would prefer Nagakawe because just he's more durable. And again, he's I don't think he's better than Clowney when he's on the field, but he's not far behind. Yeah, easy. No, I think Clowney's better, but I think mm. Nagakawe's no. not far behind. No, I, I just think either. the durability with Nagakawe is a big difference. That's why I would want him more. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was NFL free agency in a whirlwind. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know what this means. <laughs> um, it could very well be our last time. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we're going on hiatus this week, and I have a lot of thinking to do. And um, I hear Josh on the phone with Errol, so that's a conversation. I'm glad I'm not a part of those two will not stop talking. But um, <laughs> thank you, Speedy, for everything you've done mm. for us. You do a lot for this network, too. Thanks. So uh -huh. uh, I've mentioned it on this show several times. He does a lot, whether people admit it or not or don't see it or do. It doesn't really matter. He, the fact of the matter is he's absolutely crazy. Um, and if Earl needs to call somebody, he calls him. And when he doesn't answer the phone, nine out of ten times he'll call me. And uh, thank you for never not letting Earl call me. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Hopefully we'll be back. But uh, I don't know. But uh, I met my girlfriend at Rite Aid, by the way. So if anyone wants to know that story. But uh, somebody speak. specifically did. What? Somebody specifically did. No, I know. That's why I figured I'd tell him. <laughs> um, normally, I'd be afraid to say that I broke this, but because Errol is packing things up. The, I don't really the snug the cats out of the bag. <laughs> that was good. Oh, there he is. He's not club ready, Earl. He's um, tired, <laughs> Earl. But that's fine. So um, we'll see what the future holds, right? So, Speedy, tell them where they can find us. Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, and on our website at WorldWideSportsRadio.com. And we are <laughs> one of only 16 sports radio networks and Sorry, podcasts I can't do it. on Radio.com. At, at least you did a little more. Yeah, guys. well, you know, I tried. Radio.com. I didn't even try the hello. Uh, not happened. Mm. I'm not stupid. Anyway, um... Again, thank you if you've watched this show for five seconds, five minutes, every day, all day. You think I'm an idiot. You think I'm a genius. It doesn't really matter to me. Just thank you, and I appreciate all the support, hate, whatever you want to call it. But uh, thank you for everything. Um, yeah. So, Speedy, tell them goodbye. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Well, again, we don't know how long we're going to be out as a network, but we'll be, we won't be back for a while. So enjoy yourselves until then. All the listeners, have a great weekend and have a glorious night. No, 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 no. You can do it better than that, A. And B, you have a weekend, a day, and a week to make up for. I thought since you were moving things, you wouldn't mind that I snapped it in half. Oh, you forgot the um, thing. What thing? You know. No, he has no idea. Nobody knows what you mean when you say you know. <laughs> <laughs> so start from the top. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. And have a glorious night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our cue to get out of here. Um, Errol Marx is mad at me for breaking something, so I apologize in advance. But anyway, see ya. Mamba out. You're, you're, you're listening to the Worldwide Sports Radio Network.